What is up, YouTube? I'm Ben Plays Games, guys, and today I'm back bringing you another banger MW3 Zombies video. This time I'm bringing you a breakdown and battle of the two best guns in the game by far. And by the end of the video, I hope to determine which is the best out of the two guns for you guys that takes the crown as the ultimate weapon to use in MW3 Zombies. Before we do get into the video though guys, I just wanted to make a point that I've noticed from the analytics on the screen from the Lockwood video that I published that a lot of you guys are finding my channel and videos through Google. This is great and I really appreciate you all uh, if you are viewing from Google right now. But I would absolutely love it if you took the extra two seconds out of your day to just click onto the video, go to my channel and then like and subscribe on YouTube itself as this massively fuels my motivation to keep pumping out MW3 Zombies content for you guys. As I say, the views have been insane recently and I'd love to see some of you guys in the comments and stuff that are supporting me just to thank you if anything. So yeah, if you could do that guys, it would mean the absolute world to me. I also stream regularly over on my Twitch channel which is in the description. Finally make sure to share the video with your friends that you play zombies with so that they too know which is the ultimate gun to use in MW3 Zombies. Without further ado though guys let's get into this insane battle of the titanic weapons of MW3 Zombies. I will link both class videos for both guns in the description and I will also put them on the screen at the end of the video for you guys. But Let's just jump straight into it. I hope you've got your popcorn or your meal ready to eat because this is going to be an absolute banger. Let's get into it. Throughout the video, we're going to give each gun a point where it is better than the other in several categories that I've decided to rank the guns on. I will decide which one is better in each category using a 1 to 5 system where each gun gets a score of 1 to 5 and whichever is the highest will get the point for that category. I'm sure this sounds quite complicated, but as the video goes on, it will make much more sense to you guys. So the categories are the following. We've got range, ammunition consumption and efficiency, damage, early game, tier 1 zones, mid game which is tier 2 zones, end game which is tier 3 and the dark ether. And then we've got 5 effectiveness categories which is effectiveness against the following enemies. We've got effectiveness against zombies, effectiveness against mini bosses, effectiveness against human AIs, effectiveness against mega bombs and effective against worms. So our first category is range. The Lockwood has an insane range in comparison to the TYR, which is why I've scored the Lockwood at range at 5, whereas I've given the TYRs a 2, as their range simply does not live up to anywhere near the range of the Lockwood. This means our first point goes to the Lockwood, making the score 1-0 to the Lockwood. Moving on to ammo, consumption and efficiency. The Lockwood, when pack-a-punched, has a magazine size of 20, whereas the TYR Akimbo mags do not grow when pack a punch, meaning you can never have more than five ammo in the magazine of the TYRs. Secondly, from personal experience, I've never run out of ammo when using the Lockwood. However, I have run out of ammo on several occasions when using the TYRs. This is why in the ammunition, consumption and efficiency category, I have scored the Lockwood as a four, whereas I've scored the TYR as a three. This means our second point does in fact also go to the Lockwood, making the score two nil to the Lockwood. Progressing on to arguably the most important category and probably the only category a lot of you guys care about who are watching we have the damage category for me this is a no-brainer whilst the Lockwood does significantly more damage than most other guns in the game the TYR Akimbo does significantly more damage than the Lockwood therefore I have scored the, the TYR damage as a 6 it's off the scales seriously the damage these two guns do it should be illegal in any video game uh, and the Lockwood gets a 4 so the damage point does go to the TYR Akimbo making the score 2-1 to the Lockwood Next up, we're going to be moving into the gameplay categories, and firstly, we are starting with early game tier 1 zone. For me, this one was quite easy, as a lot of the time when you first load into the game, you may not have all perks, specifically Speed Cola. Speed Cola is essential for using the TYRs due to their low magazine capacity, you're always having to reload them, and also damage isn't as important for me in tier 1 as it becomes in tier 2 and tier 3 and onwards. Therefore, for early game, I've given the TYR a 3 and the Lockwood a 4. This means our fourth point goes to the Lockwood, making the score 3-1 to the Lockwood. The fifth category is mid-game, tier 2 zone. By the time you get to the tier 2 zone, you will have completed yourself some contracts, gotten yourself some perks and be getting into the game nicely. Hopefully by this point you have also acquired speed cola from your rift, reward rift, sorry. Um, and tier 2... Damage also becomes a little bit more important than it was in Tier 1. Therefore, due to those points, I have given the Lockwood a 3, but I am giving the TYR a 4 in this category, meaning our fifth point goes to the TYR Akimbo, making the score 3-2 to the Lockwood. The sixth category is Endgame, Tier 3 and the Dark Ether, both Normal and Elder. 
By the time you get to the end game, you will most likely have all perks in the game and damage has now become the most important factor as when a few transit sprinters in these zones lock onto you, guys who play Black Ops 2, you know what I mean when I say transit sprinters, um, you need to be able to deal with them quickly otherwise they will take you down in a matter of seconds. Being able to pop these sort of zombies off in rapid fire fashion is essential, therefore I've scored the Lockwood as a 4 as it is effective in this way but I've also then gone and scored the TYRs a 5 because they are just simply better at it. This means our 6th point goes to the TYRs which ties the scores up at 3-3. Three, three. So the next 5 categories are the effectiveness categories divided up into each type of enemy in the game. Also at this point in the video I'm going to ask you guys which gun you think is going to win this battle as the score is currently tied up at 3-3. Three, three. Let me know in the comments below which one you think is going to win. No cheating, don't watch till the end and then comment. Go comment now, let me know which which one you think is going to win? <laughs> Moving swiftly on to the seventh category though is the effectiveness against the zombies. As this is a general zombies category and not specific to a zone, I'm using the three previous categories to rank this. And this is why, to keep it simple, I'm giving the Lockwood a three and the TYR Akimbo is gonna get another five, meaning our seventh point goes to the TYR Akimbo. This gives the TYR the lead for the first time now, making the score four three to it. The eighth category is the effectiveness against mini bosses, specifically mimics, manglers, and disciples. The Lockwood is extremely good at defeating all mini bosses that the game has to throw at you. However, the TYR just does it better, as the main thing with dealing with mini bosses is the damage you're outputting. Therefore, I score the Lockwood at a four because it is solid against mini bosses, but the TYR does get a five, which does again, once again, mean I'm giving this point to the TYR Akimbo. This gives the TYR Akimbo a lead of 5-3. The ninth category is the effectiveness against human AI enemies such as mercenaries, grunts, elites, you get the point. Although the TYR one-shots most of these enemies, its range is very limited and the enemies can quickly take you down if you get too close to them. However, the Lockwood also one-shots most of these enemies from a much more forgiving range. Therefore, I've ranked the TYRs as a 2 here because they're really not that effective at all at taking out mercenary camps and stuff like that. But the Lockwood does get a 4 because it's absolutely solid at this, which means the point for this category does go to the Lockwood, making the score currently sat at 5-4 to the TYRs. The penultimate category in our battle of the Titans is the effectiveness against Ether Worms. This is the end of Act 3 and 4 missions and also the Red Worm boss fight which I do have a guide coming out for very soon keep your eyes out for that one the TYRs devastate the boss thanks to their added damage however you have to get way too close for comfort to this boss that one shots you even with full armor to take advantage of this whereas the Lockwood doesn't do as much damage it similarly to the last category sometimes the added range of the Lockwood just wins it a category Therefore, I am scoring the TYRs a 3 against Worms and the Lockwood as a 5 because it's easily probably the best gun for taking on Ether Worms, whether it be the end of Act 3, the end of Act 4 or the Red Worm. So this does once again tie up the score at 5-5. Five, five. The final category and the deciding category is the effectiveness against Mega Bombs, also known as Mega Abominations. You're welcome, Corey, Mr. Pedantic. Had a go at me for calling them Mega Bombs. There you go, I've clarified what I mean by that. Unfortunately, this is quite a complex category as both of these guns are absolutely insane at taking out Mega Bombs. Although the range of the Lockwood can be nice against them, personally, I believe the best way of taking out a Mega Bomb is to take it out as soon as possible. And I don't mind getting up close and personal with the Mega Bomb to take it out with the TYRs a little bit faster than I would with the Lock. Therefore, I'm giving the Lockwood a 4 in this category and the TYRs a 5 meaning this point and the battle itself goes to the TYR with a final score of 6-5. As you can see, this battle was incredibly close and in all honesty, I'd just recommend rocking both guns at the same time if you're not grinding camos or requiring a wonder weapon as they both have their weak points and extremely strong points. However, that is all I have time for today. So therefore, now I'm going to be putting both of the loadouts on the screen for you guys if you want to jump in and give either of these guns a go. As I say, I personally think the TYR is the ultimate gun to use in MW3 Zombies. Uh, but let me know how it goes with either of them if you do decide to use them. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Something a little bit different to the last few videos today. If you have, do make sure to hit the subscribe button and like. And also make sure to comment on whether you agree with me or whether you think I'm wrong and the best gun is in fact the Lockwood. Or even maybe something else whatever you think just make sure to let me know in the comments below before we do end the video i just wanted to mention the point from before and if you found this video via a google search it would mean the absolute world to me if you took the time out of your day to just click on the video title 
lot of taking you onto YouTube and onto my channel and just pressing the like and subscribe button. If not, no worries, I still appreciate your viewership and thanks for watching. Um, finally, <laughs> remember I do stream regularly over on my Twitch, so make sure to follow over there too. The links are all in the description for all that good stuff. Guys, I love you loads. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.